What's up everybody, John McLean with FPS Outdoors and I've got a lot of stuff that I gotta cover. Um, but the first thing we're gonna go over is the unboxing, the setup, and initial thoughts. The Ameristep um, Silent Swivel Blind Chair. Now, typically when I've set up my ground blind, I've just used like those fold out camping chairs. Um, there's a couple things about those that I don't like. And one of them is just the big thing is that, man, they're, they're noisy when you try and sit up in them, right? Um, the other thing is like it creates kind of a divot that you're sitting into. So if you try to sit up to get your bow or draw back or anything, like you're, ha you're in this awkward position where you're constantly having to fight your own body and the momentum and all that kind of stuff just to try and make the shot happen. So I'm interested to see if this solves all those problems. So let's get the box open, the pieces out, and let's see how hard it takes or how long it takes for me to put it together. Um, and then we'll do an initial thought of uh, what, the, what the product looks like. So let's get to it. Well, uh, that was absolutely and utterly painless. Um, very simple. Three parts. You've got the main chair part, you've got the connector piece that connects the chair to the base, and then you have the base. Um, four screws that are already installed, you just unscrew them, install the connecting piece uh, by putting the four screws in the four holes, and then set the top into the base and you're set up. So set up, absolute breeze. I mean, if you can figure out how to put a ground blind up, this is gonna be no problem. Now, let's talk about what it's like to sit in it so far. And what I noticed is that one, swiveling around is silent as the chair is marketed as a silent swivel blind chair. Now, the other thing I noticed right away is that it's nice to have the back support, but the chair itself, like we discussed with the folding chairs, I don't, like my back end doesn't sink back so that if I need to sit forward to try and make a shot happen, I'm not having to like scoot to the edge of the camping chair. I can actually just lean forward and I feel like I'm in a good uh, posture in order to make that shot happen. So going from a seated position or staying in a seated position and grabbing your bow and making it draw and all that kind of stuff, um, so far it feels very comfortable. So I'm very excited to see how this um, feels when I'm actually in my blind. There's another thing that I really like about this chair, and that is that the feet of the chair are these wide paddles. I mean, probably maybe four inch by four inch. Okay, so I like that because obviously we all know as the ground gets wet, soaks and all that kind of stuff, it makes it a whole lot easier to sink into the ground when you've got chairs that are on very skinny little legs. Um, so I feel like having not three, like a tripod, but rather four solid legs that all have these four inch paddles on the bottom for the feet, I feel like it's gonna really help keep this thing stable even in wet conditions. So it doesn't necessarily mean your blind had to be set up and avoid the rain and, and the ground is seeking it, seeping in underneath, but rather, even if you take it out in wet conditions, I think you're still gonna be sitting pretty good as long as you're not in, you know, obvious mud conditions or anything like that. The other thing that I like about this chair is that the legs are extendable. So this is about the lowest setting that you can have this chair um, set up for, which, uh, I mean, I'm a, I'm a tall dude, I'm six feet, and my legs are about, I don't know, we'll, we'll call that almost, what, 90 degrees, right? Um, and I feel like maybe just a little bit lower would have been nice, but that's really because of depending on what kind of blind you have. I know there are some blinds that are a little bit smaller, a little bit more compact, and you might not fit entirely in the blind. Like if you tried to pick up your bow and draw, you're probably gonna run into issues of your bow hitting something or, or whatnot at, a, at a, a level where you're too high. This plus side to that is really what you need to do then is set your blind up in an elevated position where your shot is gonna be a little bit more downhill and that would probably alleviate the problem. But um, 
so far, I feel like at six foot high um, or six feet tall, this chair height is actually very, very um, comfortable to sit in. Let's talk about another feature that's kind of cool about having this chair. And that's the fact that it is um, set up so that you can actually pack it up and then pack it in with you um, if you're setting up your blind for the first time or anything like that because it has all the straps that are necessary. And what I mean is that there's actually straps that are meant to hold the base for you and then a strap that actually goes around your arm, your shoulder, your neck, or whatever. Um, so that's just really nice and convenient to have that already um, pre-installed. So it's not like they sent you these straps and you gotta try and figure out which two are supposed to be for the base. So it's already on the base of the chair for you or on the, on the chair portion of it. So literally all you have to do is just pack it up, tie it down, and then haul it in with you. So, so far, my initial impressions about this Ameristep Silent Swivel Blind Chair is hard to find anything to complain about, really. Um, the fact that it sits a little high, well, I mean, maybe we just need to get a bigger blind then. That sounds like a, uh, a good solution to the problem. Plus, the other thing I'll find, too, is if you find yourself in a blind where you're having to really sit low just to get yourself to fit in it, again, Rifle, rifle hunting, um, even crossbow hunting, probably not a problem. If you're gonna be doing any bow hunting like I tend to do, you might just need to get a bigger blind in general because the last thing you need is to have your trophy buck right in front of you, you grab your bow and go to draw back and something hits something, something interacts or interferes with that shot and now you've put a bad shot on the animal or you miss him completely, um, you're just gonna be hating yourself and being like, ah. Oh, all I needed was a bigger blind. So um, it being a little bit on the tall side is obviously not a deal breaker whatsoever for me. Like I said, if anything, just use it as the excuse. Well, darling, I guess we just gotta get ourselves a little bit bigger blind. <laughs> there you go, problem solved. So um, with that being said, I'm John McQueen with FPS Outdoors. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you found this review uh, useful, informative, and all that kind of stuff. Again, check it out, Ameristeps, the silent swivel blind chair. Um, so far, very happy with it, and I totally plan on getting it out into my blind, and then not just me, but also uh, Kelly, my girlfriend, uh, giving her a chance to um, sit in it, spend some time in it, and then we'll get her uh, two cents on it, probably towards the end of season. So with that being said, Thank you so much again for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell button because I got a lot of other products that I'm going to be unboxing, doing an initial review about, and then some field testing and my thoughts afterwards at the end of season. So just super excited to have all this stuff to, uh, to film and talk about. And I hope that you're excited to learn about it with me. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next episode.